taking advantage of the late afternoon sun to come and do a quick tour of the plot. Um, I haven't really done much apart from um, the new bed that I've put in that you'll see in a minute and some like tidying and a bit of weeding because I've been taking a bit of a break. Um, this The plan for this year was that because last year I kind of experimented with new crops, my plan for this year was to get serious about growing and try and grow as much stuff to, to feed um, myself and my family for, for the year. Um, and I was going to like, that's what I was going to do. But with everything that kind of happened over December, January, all the problems that I had with um, the council and with one of the other allotment holders, um, it kind of put me off track and so I've decided to push that plan to next year and what I'm going to concentrate on is kind of repairing my relationship with the plot because I've found in the last few weeks even though I've been motivated to come down and do things and I have been doing little jobs I've been losing my temper quite a lot down here and I've been getting annoyed about stuff and I haven't really been as engaged and as focused as I normally would be um, and I think that's just because I, I felt a bit like fed up because I, I had all these plans and I put all that work in and it kind of got um, sidetracked. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm not going to worry so much about how much I'm growing. I'm going to concentrate on fixing problems on the, on the plot, things that irritate me, things that I'm annoyed about, um, hiccups that I've, I've had over the last few months um, and just make it back into a place where I want to be here and I feel comfortable being here and I'm happy here and I will still be growing things um, but it's not going to be my focus and so everything that I grow will be a bonus um, and I'm not going to beat myself up too much if I don't manage to get as many crops in as previous years or as as I originally planned to do so I'm, I'm giving myself a bit of a break um, I February I've had basically had a holiday away from the allotment because the stray cat isn't here anymore um, she turned up heavily pregnant and is now in foster care with the um, Cats Protection League so I don't have to worry about her and um, so I haven't been having to come like regularly to, f to, to kind of feed her and having that break and releasing that pressure has has kind of done wonders really i feel much better about everything so and this is my fourth year i've spent three years working really hard and doing lots of stuff and i've never really had a break so this year i'm just going to take it easy i'm gonna do my, do what i can do i'm gonna play it more by ear with the weather because the weather isn't we're not getting the traditional um, seasonal weather that we, we have done in previous years, like last year was a very typical British seasonal weather, this year is a seasonal weather, so I'm not going to worry about pre-planting things, I'm just going to do stuff that I can put in the ground end of March, April, May, that kind of time, and what I have pre-planted yet yeah, I'll put out, but I'm not going to worry about doing any more seeds. Um, I'll take a bit of a break. So yeah, I'm going to crack on and give you a very quick tour of what's been happening. So starting at the back of the plot, as you can see, I've started clearing everything. Uh, I've moved the roses back out. They, thank, fingers crossed, have fully recovered from the, the black spot fungal uh, disease that they had. I've pruned them back quite hard then, so I'm not going to shape them this year. I'm just going to let them kind of grow again. I give them a good prune next season but I just want them to recover but they seem to be doing okay started clearing all of here that just needs weeding again this, I've started clearing this herb bed there's still some sage some rosemary and some watercress growing in here so I'm going to clear all that and put some new herbs in um, garlic's doing really well garlic seems to be really happy Onions, not so much. Don't seem to have much luck with onions. I'm going to keep trying. I'm just going to leave them and see how they get on. Um, and then maybe try something else next season. We'll see. Left my gooseberry there because I quite like how that looks. 
I'm trying to decide at the moment what to do with this section. If you can see like the back there, this is the back of the, the animal enclosures from my neighbour's plot and it's really ugly. Um, me and my sister were sat because obviously this is where I sit and look at the plot and that's kind of depressing so I'm trying to think of some ideas of how to, to make that a bit nicer. I did think about maybe painting flowers along it, hanging some bunting, something like that, but if anybody has any ideas I'd, I'd appreciate them because I'm uh, at a bit of a loss of what to do. Started clearing the nasturtiums that have all died back here. Found these two on the waste ground behind the site when we were fixing my, my sister's fence. Um, I'm gonna clean them up, spray them and plant them with some flowers and hang them up. Um, similar to the, the big cage that I've got at home, we'll plan for that. Hopefully if that works that'll be nice. Got some of the winter lettuce. It's doing really well. I've started thinning that out and taking bits and pieces out to see how big that grows, but that's done really well. Um, that's empty. The gale force wind that we had, because originally I did plant up a load of seeds the other week, and then the wind um, shifted the greenhouse and all the seeds ended up on the floor. So that's currently empty. Um, and I don't have, I only have like, I managed to save like a handful of seeds that I'll show you in a minute. Which annoyed me a little bit, but we have a plan to maybe build a more solid greenhouse in this section here. But it's something I'm researching. Something kind of based on a, um, a wallapini, um, a sunken greenhouse. But we're just trying to work out what we can do and how we can make that an actual possibility at the moment. So we'll see, we'll see. We've still got some, you can see all the seeds from the stations here. Still got some chard and stuff growing here. Um, this is like the last of it from what I planted. Um, I've still been giving it to the rabbits and pulling it out. No more stray cat, stray cat is gone. She turned up heavily pregnant. So the cat's protection uh, took her into foster. She apparently had four kittens um, a week or so ago. So there's been no stray cat. But I'm thinking about the possibility of maybe getting some quail. We'll see. So I've started clearing all the pots for the carrots. These are my carrot pots. So I've got to um, sieve that compost uh, at some point, but it's not a job I have to do yet. Started clearing all these. I think that these are primroses. But I'm not sure. We were having a dis I was having a discussion with one of the other allotment holders. We were trying to work out what it is. We think that they're either marigolds or they're primroses. Um, but they are, they're definitely a variety that gets their leaves in their first year and they flower the second year. So this is the second year they've been here. So I'm hoping that they're gonna flower and we'll know what they are. But then you look, all here's being cleared. Started clearing all of this. This has all been cleared. I've got to turn all this over again. Um, dig some more compost in. This is where all my peas are going to be. And I moved all of my fruit trees, like my gooseberry, my raspberry over here. Because I'm not sure, if I didn't know what I was going to do with this bed. Originally I put it in for carrots, but I don't do carrots in beds anymore. Um, I'm not doing as many potatoes, so I don't need to use the big beds for potatoes this year. I can just use the the towers. So I decided to put all the fruit trees in it. And they seem to be happy, they're growing, so that might work out and that may be where they live now, which is good. Strawberries. This is the second year for these strawberry plants. Um, so I should get a good crop. I've got at least another year out of these. Um, and they're starting to grow, so I'm excited to see where we get strawberries from that. This has all been cleared and I'm going to show you the biggest change. Ta-da! No more dog house. So after the, the video that I filmed the other day where we demolished the duck house, um, we came back uh, a couple of days later 
did a massive tip run, got rid of all of the, the rubbish that was left. Anything that I wanted to keep is kind of like stashed behind there. But like if it didn't fit behind there, then it went. And what I've, we've, I've done is this is now uh, a raised bed area. Uh, this is a bed area. Dug in all of the the duck bed in, the chicken bed in. Uh, I brought some stuff from home, dug it in. Um, all the extra compost that I had, some compost from my compost bin, the grow bags, that's all got dug into this area, all got um, forked and turned over and weeded. Um, and it only goes to, because of the tree roots, it's dug back to about here, there. And I'm possibly either gonna put some hedge in or um, some of the, some buckets and things here with stuff in. But this section here, the plan is to put sweet corn, um, squash and pumpkin and possibly some courgette as well. And in this, the fruit cage will be beans. Um, so I can grow them in the ground, but the birds can't steal all, all my beans off there. I just have to repair the, the net in a little bit because my father-in-law put his foot through it. So I've just got to fix that. And um, what I've put here, this is my, my witchy herb garden that I've started. And I've got a few varieties of hay, sage. So I've got tricolour sage, uh, common broadleaf sage. What's this one? This is purple sage. I've got some uh, common upright rosemary, which grows really tall. And then I've got the prostrate, prostrate rosemary, which has these lovely blue flowers that comes through. I've also got a Chinese lantern planted there. This is the parsley that was in the greenhouse here and this is the mint that was in the hanging baskets that were hung on the duck house in there. I've reused the, the chicken's um, bathing sink. This is like an old Belfast sink um, and I've reused it for the mint so the mint doesn't end up everywhere. It means I've got this huge space here to play with as well and as you can see the this mini herb wheelbarrow that I've got there is starting to grow back now I can finally get to it there's a few bits and pieces here uh, there's marjoram some types of mint and this is a curry plant that needs cutting back but the chilling rhubarb is starting to grow that's starting to come back and all of see the old leaves. This is last season's leaves. That's all mulched down now, so that will just grow up and protect the roots. Pond is coming back to life. I've left all this stuff on the top of the pond because it's heron season. So I, I wanted to protect my fish a little bit because I took the net off because uh, the net was making it hard to keep the pond clean. So I took that off. But I've left that on to protect the goldfish. Um, they're still there, they're still quite happy. The, a few frogs have been had by the herons, but the fish seem to be okay. Oh. It's not facing the right direction, that's north that way. So I've started clearing the fairy garden just to get it ready to start putting things in. I've still I've got a few more a few of the plants out. I did some more bits of rocks and things that I've found. Um, it's the other chili and rhubarb coming through. Like everything's starting to come back to life. The trees starting to come back to life. Got some bulbs and things growing here. Coming through. Um, got a new rose bush um, because my guinea pigs are now buried here. They passed away. So they, I brought them here and I put a, night, a rose bush on to, to, for them. And yeah, everything's starting to grow, come back to life. Down here, everything's kind of coming back to life. The trees have got buds on, and um, stuff like that. In the polytunnel, there's a few bits. Actually, I'm gonna go in here. I'll show you. I've had a bit of rain. That's a bit of flooding. So it's a bit chaotic in here at the moment because I've been moving things around and um, trying to sort through stuff. But I have some things that I have. This is what I managed to rescue. 
um, so we've got the peas, um, leeks, some tomato plants, um, sweet peas, uh, what's this one, these are onion seedlings, um, and everything else just got trashed, um, but I've got all my seed trays and stuff in here, This uh, all my bamboo canes and things, this needs a proper sort out, which is starting to come back to life. But we'll see, I'm going to, if the weather is okay in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to put these out. I'm going to plant them outside because this is quite open and um, I've found that I don't need to harden off the plants that are in here because they kind of, it's not like a proper greenhouse anymore, it doesn't radiate that kind of heat. So um, by having them here by the door they're hard enough that next week I can kind of put them out and see how they grow. So that's good. Some box hedging there. I bought let me just do that. So I um yeah, so I've got some box hedging there. I picked that up from home base. Um and I have a I'm thinking about putting it where the big gaps are uh, along the fences because I am debating about getting another dog um, so I kind of want to well I want to create I'm aware that they want to knock this house down so they're going to cut a lot of this back so I wanted to create a few areas on my plot where the robins could potentially nest in the future um, and stuff like that so I thought maybe planting a bit of box hedging along the edges could create some um, places in the future for for wildlife, for birds and for what have you. Um, so that's kind of my plan at the moment, what I'm going to do. Hopefully that will work out, so I'm going to do that in the next few weeks as well. Well, I'm going to get my husband to dig the holes because I hate digging. It's like clay along here and it would take me all week to dig that out, so I'm going to get him to do it for me because it will only take him a day. So I'm going to put, put that along there and potentially along here as well. But yeah, um, everything's kind of, it's, the plot feels a lot different. Having that gone and having like a proper growing space, I've shortened the, had to shorten the archways a little bit because the bottoms broke, but that's kind of cool. Yeah, everything's getting ready. I, I'm still going to wait a week or two before I start in earnest. Because I'm trying, because of the, the weather and the wind and everything's making everything a bit difficult. But yeah, I feel a lot better. Any ideas about this? You know, give me a shout because I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. But yeah, back to the shed. So that's March. Um, as you can see, not much going on. I, I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself this year. I'm not going to put the pressure that I have on previous years on myself this year, I'm just going to try and enjoy the plot, um, try and just do some fun things, creative things and maybe grow some more flowers and just kind of take some of the pressure on myself to produce crops and things um, and hopefully that will put me back on track and I will have a good season. If not, I'm not really going to beat myself up about it. But thank you very much for watching, I appreciate your support. Um, and yeah, I shall see you soon. Bye-bye.